today's scholars, we are going to be reading Pajama Day. And I don't know about you, but Pajama Day is one of my favorite days at school. Let's read to find out what happens during their Pajama Day. pajama day at school and everyone in Miss Shepard's class arrived wearing their favorite fuzzy wuzzy PJs. Everyone that is except Drew a blank. Drew had forgotten what day it was. In fact, Drew might have forgotten his own name if it hadn't been written on his hand as a reminder. Miss Shepard greeted everyone. Welcome class, slide off your shoes and slip on your slippers to join us at our morning meeting circle. Oh fudge, I forgot my slippers, said Drew. I knew there was a reason I tied a string around my finger. Don't worry, Drew, said Mrs. Shepard. You can join us anyway. Drew didn't want to beat the odd man out, so he rummaged in the lost and found pile. After diving and digging, and pulling and tugging. Drew joined the circle wearing slippers. Later that morning, Miss Shepard said, snack time, everyone get out the breakfast snacks you brought for pajama day. Oh, double fudge, I forgot mine, said Drew. I knew there was a reason I stuck a sticky note to my stomach. Don't worry, Drew, said Miss Shepard. I'm sure someone will share with you. Drew didn't want to be the odd man out, so he asked if he could go see the cook in the cafeteria. Drew and the cook found some flour, sugar, eggs, and milk. After stirring and whisking and flying and flipping, Drew went back to his class with an extra special breakfast snack for everyone. Next, Mrs. Shepard announced, Hurry class, time to line up for the pajama parade. Oh, triple fudge, I forgot to wear my pajamas, said Drew. I knew there was a reason I wrote PJs on top of my homework assignment sheet. Don't worry, Drew, said Miss Shepard. Just go to the craft corner and find something to decorate your shirt. You can join the parade when you're ready. Drew didn't want to be the odd man out, so in the craft corner he found some cloth, yarn, glue, and glitter. After clipping and snipping and drizzling and sprinkling, Drew joined the parade just in time. Right after lunch, Miss Shepard said, Time to perform our teddy bear play. Everyone get out your favorite teddy bears and get in your places. Oh, quadruple fudge, I forgot mine, said Drew. I knew there was a reason I drew a big T on today's date on the calendar. Do not worry, Drew, said Miss Shepard. You can be in charge of the curtain. But Drew didn't want to be in charge of the odd man out, so he found a furry friend and went over to the dress-up corner. After buttoning and zipping and combing and crowning, Drew and his friend joined the play, and he was a big hit. Later that afternoon, Ms. Shepard said, now it's silent reading time. Everyone grab a book from the shelf and the pillows you brought from home and get cozy. Oh, Quintuple fudge. I forgot my pillow. I knew there was a reason why I set the alarm on my wristwatch, so I'd remember it. Don't worry, Drew, said Miss Shepard. Just roll up your sweater for a pillow. But Drew didn't want to be the odd man out, so he went over to the odds and ends drawer. After huffing and puffing and twisting and tying, Drew joined the rest of the class with a pillow. At last, Miss Shepard's class settled down for silent reading. Everyone snuggled up on their pillows and opened their books. And soon the only sound coming from Miss Shepard's class was... <sighs> At 
After curling up with their pillows and books and getting all comfy and cozy, everyone snoozed. Everyone, that is, except Drew A. Blank. Drew tossed and turned and fussed and fidgeted. He couldn't sleep. He had the nagging feeling. He was forgetting something. What is it, he thought Drew. What am I forgetting this time? He checked his strings, his sticky notes, his to-do list. What could it be? Drew worried. Drew tossed and turned one too many times on his pillow. And... Pop! Miss Shepard and all the other students woke with a start. Yikes, what was that? Oh, ow, that hurt my ears. Hey, who woke me up? Where am I? Sorry, everyone, my pillow popped, said Drew. I was trying so hard to remember something. Miss Shepard looked at her watch and said, Why, thank you, Drew, for waking us. It's time to go home, everyone. Hurry or you'll miss the bus. Miss Shepard's students grabbed their teddies, books, and pillows and raced out to the bus. But as Drew started to scrunch his toes and do his socks, he noticed a note written on the bottom of his foot. Don't take the bus. Mom will pick you up after school today. Drew wiggled his toes at Miss Shepard. See, that's what I was trying so hard to remember. Well, now you know, Drew, said Mrs. Shepard. But why is your mom picking you up today? But before Drew could draw a blank, his mother arrived. Oh, thank you, Miss Shepard, for making Drew wait for me. There's not a minute to waste. Let's get going, Drew. First, there's your piano lesson, then your dentist appointment, then soccer practice, then the scout meeting. Then, later that night, Drew plopped onto his bed, all tired out from pajama day. As a matter of fact, he was so tired out that he forgot his pajamas. The end.